of the doll and I sold this fairly quickly for $30. This is another item that I found at the bins. Next up, hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Thrifting Adventures. My name is Stephanie and my channel is all about how to save money from thrifting and make money from thrifting. So if this is the type of content that you would love, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you some of the highlights of the items I've been selling on eBay and how much money I've been making. All right, let's get started. So these are just the, the highlights of the items that I've been selling. And what I'm going to let you know is the profit that I've made from each item. This excludes the money I've paid for them and for the shipping and the fees. So the, item, the amount that I let you know that I've made from each item will be the pure profit. All right, so the first item I want to share with you is a skirt called Sinta Amani. And I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. It was designed in Iceland. It was a black padded skirt, size small, and it sold for $20.54. I found this at the bins a long time ago, forgot about it listed it and it sold within a few weeks next item i sold that sold pretty quickly was a lot of lego legos friends and these are the type of lots um legos that are girls legos kind of the purple and the pink colors and the girly kind of sets and stuff and these sold for 17 dollars 85 this was a mixed lot that was used and this is something i found at the bins um, a while ago but it sold fairly quickly Next up was a lot of 38 Hatchimals, which are these little animal toys. And I sold a lot of them fairly quickly for $23. I found these at the bins and been collecting them. I wanted to sell them as a lot because selling them individually or just a few at a time doesn't really make you a lot of money. So this has been a while of me collecting them from the bins. Next up, I sold a Disney Evil Queen Snow White from Evil Queen doll from the Snow White Disney movie. This wasn't an older doll. This was a newer remake of the doll. And I sold this fairly quickly for $30. This is another item that I found at the bins. Next up is a Hannah, Hannah Anderson organic PJ top. I only had the top. I didn't have the bottoms. But with Hannah Anderson, you can sell mismatched pajama tops or pajama pants. A lot of people will buy them. Now, I only made, let's see, $8.90 from it, but it's something I found at the bins. Only paid about a quarter for, so it was a really good profit. Next up I sold is a North Face Men's Extra Large High Vent Windbreaker Rain Jacket. Now, North Face does not sell for as much as it used to sell for. I only made $20.73 from this jacket. And back in the day, I could have made around $50 to $60. So for me, the value of North Face is going down quite a bit. Next up, I sold a Madame Alexander Scotland 8-inch doll and Friends from Around the World collection. This doll sold fairly quickly, and it sold for $31.80. Nine cents. So this doll I found I bought at an auction with a bunch of other dolls. So I didn't quite make profit from this yet because I spent close to a hundred dollars on the auction of the dolls. But you'll see later on that I sold more dolls. So eventually I made profit. Another item I found, which I found at Goodwill retail and it was hidden, was this vintage Joseph Christmas Santa Claus that's on the phone. Now, the phone was missing the cord, and it was missing the little boy that goes with it. It's supposed to be a set, but I found this at Goodwill, hidden on the shelf for only a few dollars, and I made $42.48 profit on it. So I thought, thought that was still a really good flip for me. Next up, I sold a pair of Express Photographer Slim Fit Dress Pants, men's size 29-30. I was surprised that this sold quickly because it was a very specific size, but it sold within a few weeks and I made $9 profit off of it. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, I did sell a Apartment 9 Pure Cashmere Sweater Cardigan. 
Now, just because it's cashmere doesn't mean it's going to give you a huge profit. A lot of cashmere sweaters kind of sell cheaply at big department stores. But I did make $10 profit on this, so I'm still pretty happy with it. Another shirt that I sold is Life is Good Crusher Crew Neck Rocket Santa Shirt Women's Size Extra Large. Now, the Life is Good shirts sell pretty well. And I saw the comps on this, so I definitely picked it up, and I made $18 profit on it. This is a shirt I found at the bins, so that was a really good flip. Next up was a Carhartt Kids Tan Size 6 Overall Bids in really good shape. Carhartts sell really well for me, especially the Carhartt Kids Overalls. This sold pretty quickly, and it sold for $13 profit. Next up, and I knew this would sell really well. I had this in storage for a long time. It was a vintage 1980s strawberry shortcake miniature figurines lot. I had these in storage, totally forgot about them, finally sold them and made $13 profit from them. Another great brand is Plan Toys. I sold this Plan Toys Wood People lot for $16 profit. I got these from a friend that had me sell them. She had a ton of them. Plan Toys is a really good, hard to find brand that you should keep your eyes on, keep your eyes open for. <laughs> Next up, which I hardly ever, ever buy is electronics and video games. But I found this at the bins, probably paid a dollar for all of it. Sony PlayStation PS game movie lot of 11 so there was a mixture of games and movies I didn't know anything about them really I looked them up they don't sell for a whole lot and I didn't know if they worked but I did make a $15 profit from them so I'm pretty happy with that all right so I did sell more dolls from the auction that I uh, bought for $100. It was another Madame Alexander Victorian Marigold doll that I sold for $38.39. Another one was the Keepsake Silk Victorian Madame Alexander doll for $20.70. Another one was the Madame Alexander Children's Prayer doll for $26. And another one was the Madame Alexander Happy Birthday doll for $24. So I did end up making some profit off that auction of dolls that I bought for around $100. Another item that I found at the bins, was so happy I found this, was a Mark Roberts Elf Christmas doll, 28 inches. So it was pretty big, and I made $58 profit on it. So this was a great flip because I found it at the bins and it only cost me a couple dollars. Uh, another item I sold, and I don't sell a lot of vintage or antique books, but I sold this one. It was the works of Charles Dickens Bleak House from 1968, and I sold it for $7.17 profit. Uh, another item I sold, and I don't sell a lot of concert t-shirts that are actually really hard to find, was a Taylor Swift uh, Reputation concert t-shirt. Not very old, and I sold it for $6 profit. Another item I found, and I actually got help from people to uh, distinguish what it was. It was a vintage whole compass car, boat, truck, worn Ohio, USA, thingamajig compass for like cars or boats. And I made $13 profit on it. I didn't know what it was when I bought it at a state sale for a dollar, but I knew it was really cool looking. So I'm glad that I made that profit from it. Another item I sold, I tried to sell these at a YouTube live sale. They didn't sell, so I listed them on eBay. They're the Precious Moments Japanese All Girls Are Beautiful set two figurines. They were missing the little figurine bushes that came with it, but by themselves, I made $63 profit. This is something I found at the bins, didn't sell on my live, but they sold fairly quickly on eBay. Another item I found at the bins, brand new and sealed, I thought this was so cool, was a vintage Kooky Spooks Wobbling Goblin Blow Up Costume, new and sealed. It was very unique, very collectible, and I made $37 profit on it. Another item I found at the bins was a vintage Chinese 
fully sewing cinnabar lidded jar blue enamel. Now in the past I sold a vase similar to this so I knew it was worth money and I made $25 profit on it. Uh, another thing that I sold and I didn't realize it was worth this much money but I guess items from the 1990s are considered vintage. It was this vintage Nintendo Pokemon Team Rocket storage tin. And I thought it would only make a few dollars, but I made $13 profit on it. So that made me really happy. <laughs> Another item that I had for a long time on eBay. Oh my God, like two years. It finally sold. It was this Irish Heritage sweater, pure wool. And I sold it and made $17 profit. But man, it took a long time. So maybe wool isn't as popular <laughs> as I thought it was. I don't know. And the last thing I want to share with you, I sold this North Face Dry Vent Hooded Rain Jacket, women's size large. Now, again, North Face doesn't make as much profit as it used to for me, but I did make $24 profit on this jacket, so I'm pretty happy with that flip. So that is the highlights of the items I've sold. Now, I didn't let you know everything that I sold, but... In total, of all the items that I've been selling for the last month and a half, I've made over $600 profit. So I'm really happy with the profit I've made, and I'm still listing. So hopefully that profit will just keep going up. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It's free. And until next time, see you later. Bye.